To me, there's nothing more frustrating than taking the time to prep an area before painting just to find out later that the paint still got underneath the tape and now there's a ton to touch up. This is not a technique that I came up with, it's just what I've been using to get crisp, straight paint lines throughout my project. I know the professionals just cut in their lines and it saves a ton of time and they get amazing results, but that's what they do for a living and they're practiced. Last time I painted was five years ago and it was probably another five years before that. I tried cutting in, but found I really wasn't that good at it and I wanted better results. So if you're like me and you're picky about getting perfect results, then maybe try giving this a shot. For this section, I need the dark gray to meet the light gray vertically down the center of this bull nose corner. I'll take my time here and make sure to tape off my line exactly where I want it to be. Obviously my paint line will only be as good as what I have taped off, so I make sure to do a good job here. I don't know if it's a Colorado thing, but I've only lived in homes with textured walls. And the problem with texture is no matter how much time you spend taping or how hard you press the tape to the surface, paint always seems to sneak in underneath the tape, ruining your efforts. So this next step will prevent that. I took a tube of DAP Alex Fast caulk, which has a working time of about 20 minutes, and applied a bead to the edge of the tape. The caulk will seal up any gaps between the tape and the surface, so I don't have to worry about any paint ending up where I don't want it to be. The thing to remember is if you don't remove it back to a thin layer, then you'll actually see the added texture of the caulk through the paint. Next, I wet my finger and wiped it until I was left with a thin layer. I did use too much, so I needed a paper towel to help me wipe off the excess caulk. You just want enough to seal the tape so that the paint can't sneak in underneath. The important thing to remember here is to give yourself enough working time because the tape will need to be removed before the paint and the caulk dries. And then obviously the next step was to paint the area. Once this was complete, I removed the tape. And there you have it, a crisp, straight paint line that even a professional could be proud of. I hope this video was helpful to you and feel free to drop a comment below if there's a different technique that you use that works for you. Thanks so much for watching and until I catch you on the next video, please take care and stay safe. Goodbye.